Hi everyone, it's me again, Jess. And in today's video, we will talk about a retirement concept that's already popular in other countries but needs to be talked about more here in the Philippines. This concept that I'm going to share with you today is actually the reason why I decided to save more than half of my income every month and just decided to save and invest most of it. If you want to know how to never ever have to work again, then stick around until the end of the video. This concept that we are going to talk about today is called the FIRE movement, which stands for Financial Independence, Retire Early. So basically, the goal of the people pursuing FIRE is to be able to quit their jobs, their 9 to 5, or in our case, our 9 to 7 jobs, and let their investments fund for their living expenses. So in Tagalog, guys, yung kinikita ng investments mo, yun na ang magbabayad para sa gastusin mo araw-araw so hindi mo na kakailanganin pang magtrabaho. I think it's high time for us Filipinos to be financially literate and independent. Let's throw all of the ideas that teleseries tend to portray that the rich are evil, that the money is the root of all evil. I don't know about you, but for me personally, I think that saving money, investing money, and actually being rich does it mean that you have to fly on private jets, drinking champagne all the time, and staying at five-star hotels? I see money as merely a tool. So, if this is something that you want to pursue, let me show you the steps on how to pursue FIRE. There are four components in pursuing FIRE. The 4% rule, your FIRE number, saving straight, and investing. There's this Trinity study that states that you can withdraw up to 4% of your investments each year and you wouldn't run out of money. This is called the 4% rule. So using the 4% rule, we can now compute on the amount of investments that you will need to be able to retire. So let's use an example applying the 4% rule. If all of your expenses is it an average of 30,000 pesos per month? Then simply compute 30,000 times 12, because we have 12 months in a year, divided by 4% or 0 0.04. It means that you would need 9 million pesos to retire if you will only spend 30,000 pesos per month or 360,000 per year. Okay, so using that 4% rule, you now have your fire number. So in this example, the fire number is 9 million pesos. Okay, so you've done the math. 9 million pesos. 9 million pesos seems so big, right? How can we really attain 9 million investments? So don't fret, we are going to talk about savings rate next so that we can break this figure down even further and really make 9 million pesos in investments attainable and realistic. There's this guy called Mr. Money Mustache who is a prominent figure in the FIRE community. He made a guide so you wouldn't feel so overwhelmed by your FIRE number but instead, you would look at your savings rate to attain your FIRE number. So let's use the example earlier. John's living expenses is 30,000 pesos. Let's say he earns 50,000 pesos each month. So he currently saves 20,000 pesos or 40% of his monthly income. Now, let's look at Mr. Money Mustache's table. At 40%, it would take John 22 years to retire. Can John really achieve 9 million pesos in 22 years? Now, let's do the math again. 20,000 times 12 times 22 is only 5,200,000. 80,000 pesos. 
So you might say that 9 million pesos is not equal to the 5.28 million that we have computed earlier. But there's a missing factor that you are forgetting. Here comes the magic of compound interest and the power of investing comes into play. And after discovering the power of compound interest and investing, I knew that I would want to pursue FIRE right away. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it makes saving and investing much, much more exciting than it actually is. I don't want to make this video too long, so those are just the basic concepts and rules about pursuing FIRE. So what about you? Would you pursue fire? Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you like and if you would want an in-depth discussion about fire like where would you put your money? Would you invest on real estate or the stock market? So let me know in the comments below guys. So if you learned a thing or two on this video, don't forget to give this a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please stay safe and healthy. I'll see you guys on the next video. Wishing you all success. Bye!